There are two main senses that one can hear in the phrase the prosthetic imagination, I think. The first thinks of uh, the imagination itself as a prosthetic device. Uh, so the prosthetic imagination is the imagination as a prosthetic. Um, one of the things that my book uh, sets out to do is to conduct a thought experiment where we imagine uh, that the novel itself is a prosthetic device and work out what that would mean for how we think about what the task uh, and value of the novel is from, from its earliest beginnings to the present day. That the novel actually brings us somehow into the world acting as an extension of uh, our rather diminished uh, small selves. The second sense runs alongside the first um, and is really encouraging us to imagine what work we need to do in order to bring prosthetic material to life, to animate it in some sense. Um, one can imagine that all body parts, all biopolitical structures, all forms of being are in some sense prosthetic. They're in some sense not living. Um, you only have to think about your hair or your fingernails to realise that we're made of material that isn't fully uh, I don't, animated by life. Uh, and one of the tasks of being alive and one of the tasks of the novel is to produce the imaginative force that allows us to take prosthetic material, inanimate material, and make it living, make it feel like the, the real bedrock of the self.